Amsum was sitting quietly on a bench when suddenly a strange sound echoed from his belly. Huh? Shocked, he wondered, why does our stomach growl? Determined to find out, he shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place looked almost empty, with only thin traces of food clinging to the walls. Around him, large muscles formed thick folds, huh? and they were beginning to move restlessly. Amsum watched as they tightened and relaxed, pushing the space into motion. Suddenly, the brain commanded the stomach to get ready for food. The walls obeyed. They squeezed and churned strongly, just like they did after a meal. Amsum stumbled as the powerful muscles rippled around him, shaking the empty chamber. Air and leftover digestive juices sloshed together noisily, creating echoes that bounced from wall to wall. Omsum covered his ears as the growls rumbled all around him. He followed the vibrations downward and saw the small intestine also joining in. The walls of the intestine pushed and squeezed, sending ripples forward. This process, called peristalsis, was the body's way of moving food along. But with no food present, it only pushed air and liquid, creating even more rumbling noises. Amsum finally understood the reason. The body was basically preparing itself for food. With a gentle leap, Amsum came out of his body, smiling proudly. Amsum was fast asleep one night when his dreams suddenly twisted into frightening shapes. He found himself running through endless shadows, chased by creatures that made no sense. Huh? He woke up with his heart pounding and wondered, why do we get nightmares? Determined to find out, Amsum drifted back into sleep and floated deep into his own mind. All around him were glowing bubbles of thoughts and memories. He entered a vast chamber where dreams were created. At first, the place seemed calm, with bright colors and playful scenes dancing in the bubbles. But then the shadows stirred, and from the darkness rose swirling waves of worry and stress. The shadows swept across the chamber, tossing broken memories and scraps of fear into the dream chamber. Peaceful pictures warped into strange, scary scenes. Amsum tried to steady himself, but the shadows grew stronger, feeding on every anxious thought. The chamber spun into chaos, and Amsum was pulled into a whirlwind of nightmares. He tumbled through the storm, chased by twisting shapes, each one built from fragments of his own memories. Then, Amsum noticed something important. The brain sometimes mixes worries or stresses into dreams, turning them into nightmares. By testing scary situations, the mind learns how to stay alert and safe. With this realization, the storm of shadows began to fade and the dream chamber slowly brightened. When Aum Sum awoke, he was smiling proudly as he had solved the nightmare mystery. Aum Sum was sipping a fizzy drink when suddenly a loud burp escaped from his mouth. Embarrassed, Aum Sum wondered, why do we burp? Determined to know, Amsum shrank and entered his own body. He landed inside the stomach. The place was busy, bubbling with liquid and food. Around him, waves of muscles were churning and mixing everything together. But what caught his attention were pockets of air rising up through the mix. Amsum tried to find out where the bubbles came from. Some had entered when he swallowed food too quickly. Others had formed from the fizzy drink, releasing carbon dioxide gas inside the stomach. Suddenly, huh? the brain sensed the pressure and sent a command. The stomach walls tightened, and the esophageal sphincter valve at the top of the stomach opened briefly. Amsum huh? stumbled as the trapped air shot upward through the food pipe. It roared through the throat, and with a final burst, escaped through the mouth. Huh? Outside, it was heard as a burp, 
As another bubble rose, Om Sum clung to the moving walls. He saw that burping wasn't random or useless. It was the body's way of getting rid of extra air that didn't belong in the stomach. If the air stayed trapped, it would only cause pressure and discomfort. Leaping back outside, Om Sum smiled proudly.